Recently appointed Canadian women's national team head coach Kenneth Heiner Muller met with the media today to chat about the squad he will be helming later this month in Portugal. Oakville's Diana Matheson is one of the players who's been named to be taking part in the Algarve Cup, despite the fact that she hasn't played in nearly a year. Well, she recovered so good, so she's a part of the uh, of the roster on on uh, not on the same terms as, as everyone else. She haven't played a, a match there yet, but I've uh, we've seen her. We had a small camp in Toronto in uh, in January where she was in, and you can see that she's she's back where she actually uh, ended when she, first when she got the the injury. She's adding to the team just by her presence. She's got such a great character. Uh, besides being an awesome player. So what she's adding is just something this team needs uh, on and off the pitch. So besides being a great footballer, she's also a, a great, great individual, great person. 2017 Burlington Sports Hall of Fame inductee Melanie Booth was on hand to help announce that Tim Hortons Field will be the site of an international friendly this June against one of the best women's sides in the entire world as Canada gears up to qualify for next year's World Cup in France. The, the community of Hamilton, Burlington, the surrounding areas, like, should feel super privileged that they get to see this kind of caliber of soccer, especially against the German national team number two in the world. Like That's going to be a great game. So um, to be able to bring that here to Hamilton, it's pretty impressive. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Pierce Lang.